It's your boy Conservist34. What a time to be alive is April 16th, 2018. And today has been a great day. I'm not gonna lie, the weather could be better here on the East Coast. But first we get news that Kendrick Lamar will be getting a Pulitzer Prize, and which is a big deal for hip hop, the first non-classical musician uh, to, to get a Pulitzer Prize here in the music categories. And then J. Cole announces out of nowhere this special show in NYC. He announced it around 3 or 4 o'clock earlier today on Twitter uh, for the Gramercy Theater. And it, I, got, I think in the show's over now. It's 1028 Eastern here on the East Coast. But then, boom, if you live in NYC and you could pull up, then that was probably a great show. And then all of a sudden, we get about an hour ago, uh, another tweet and another rollout on his Facebook page. J. Cole announces new album, K.O.D., out April 20th. That's going to be this Friday. And this is exciting for someone like me because I have been a J. Cole fan since the mixtape era when he didn't have a single on the radio, when people doubted him and they doubted if he would ever become big. And wow, did he become big as far as his sales, as far as his touring. I don't know what to expect with this album. He, he may get all political like he did in the other album. He may, may be on more of a social tip uh, than more Democrat Republican because that's J. Cole's style. It's more of a social uh, wokeness that he has versus just you know taking a side of one party or another. So maybe we'll get some of that stuff uh, I'm sure he'll address the current state of hip-hop and some of these mumble rappers who have called him out. But we shall see. The best thing about J. Cole is his fan base proves that hip-hop has young and old fans that want to get content that truly means something. And you could talk about all these mumble rappers, whatever you want to call them, all these in rappers that are hot for the moment, the Uzi Verts, the Yachty's, the Takashi's, they don't sell what J. Cole sells. And J. Cole uh, easily clears 200K with, with his last two releases um, there. And these artists aren't even coming close. Cardi got into the 200s, upper 200s, but she didn't get uh, to what J. Cole got for For Your Eyes Only. So... I like how that is still a reality in hip hop and people who want to say hip hop is dead and the kids just care about the mumble rap. No, the kids do listen to some of this stuff, you know, the, the rainbow color hair, Takashi and all that. But ultimately, J. Cole gets these youngins, the teenagers, the college students, the kids like me who were in college 10 years ago uh, following J. Cole around when he had no major album out. He gets all sorts of demographics, and you see it in the shows. Also, you you know, Russ talks about how much he sells out shows, and other artists want to flex on talking about selling out clubs. J. Cole sells out arenas, and then he also performs in some amphitheaters here that get up there as far as size as well. So I'm sure if they roll out a tour late fall or if it goes into next year because the summer's touring is kind of already booked even for J. Cole who has different uh, gigs. Uh, we'll see what happens. He also has some festivals coming up uh, here and we'll see if he how much of the new material he promotes and, and plays in, in, in these festival shows. But I'm excited. J. Cole K.O.D. is the name of the album coming out April 20th. What do you guys think? Definitely like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise I'm out. I gotta watch the Sixers game over here.